Hey YouTube pipe community. Making my uh my character eat and drink be before he dies. Um I wanted to do a quick uh last of the tin video. Um gonna smoke some Davidoff flake medallions. Um, first time I smoked this, I received a tin when back in the day when we did the Secret Santa um, in the YTPC, and my Secret Santa gave me a couple different tins, and um, one was the Flick Medallions. First time I ever like smoked a vapor or even heard of a vapor. I mean, I mean, I think I might have smoked uh, a Scudo, which this is pretty similar to. A scudo um, as far as being a Virginia Preak and being a coin flake a medallion so it's a really nice like little Davidoff cover so yeah just a this might be a little bit lighter than a Scudo, as far as the color goes. Um, but it's also one of those tobaccos that's kind of hard to find. Um, it's, it always seems to be out of stock, a lot like a Scudo. Um, I'm bringing up some... Um, specs on it. Uh, it's blended by Orlick Tobacco Company, which I did not know that. Um, I know Davidoff um, it's a company, it's a cigar company. They do pipe tobacco. I think they do some other things like um, like uh, male fashion kind of stuff like uh, um cufflinks, stuff like that. And their pipe tobacco isn't isn't like super expensive. Like their cigars, like their cigars seem to be um, pretty expensive. And I've had a couple of their cigars and they are really good smokes. Like I would definitely, I think I got, I received the two Davidoff cigars in like a, uh, I do a monthly um, blind tasting um, cigar blind tasting thing and they always send a couple cigars that are banded from like the previous month tasting or something and uh, so one of the blind cigars was a Davidoff and then so then the next month they sent a couple different Davidoffs and they were really good um, I, I enjoyed both of them a lot and I and the the Davidoff pipe tobacco I've had, I've liked a lot too. I've only had Flick Medallions and then Royalty, which is a, um, a lot of Kia blend. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, blended by Orlick, manufactured by Orlick. It's a Virginia Perique. Has Black Cavendish, Perique, and Virginia, which I think that's kind of, um, I always thought, the flake medallions were similar to a scudo, but a little bit sweeter, and that's probably where I'm tasting the black Cavendish. Uh, no flavoring. It's a curly cut, which I guess is another way to say it's a coin cut for a medallion. Um, yeah, 50 gram tins is what it comes in. I did the char light a little bit ago. Did the char light when I was uh, the first time I tried making the video. And I was on a rambling on about something, so I just decided to start over. I 
I'm smoking it out of my Tim Thorpe second. This is a great little flake pipe. I like it a lot. Which I thought this was the last of the tin because I had like the coins were kind of like stuck together, so it just looked like I had only one uh, flake left. But I actually had three, so this pipe smokes uh, fits about about one coin and then a little bit of the uh, bottom of the tin from previous flakes that uh, that I um. Rolled out, I guess. But yeah, it's a, a little tangy, I guess, from the um, has like the the tanginess from that you sometimes get from Virginia's. Um, and then the, the sweetness, I think, is from the Cavendish. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a definitely nice, flavorful smoke. Got that Perique spiciness. It's real well balanced, I think. Like the, the just, you know, perfect amount of uh, Cavendish. Sipping on, um, an ale eight ginger ale. That's not too bad with the pipe. I drink ginger ale a lot with the cigars. Or ginger beer. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's definitely, um, I think a tobacco I'm going to try to sell her deep on next time, uh, next time it's in stock. I'd like to, uh, get the point where if there was only a few, a few tobaccos that I enjoy, I would probably stock up, you know, try to sell her back at least 10, 15 tins, but there's a lot of, a lot of tobaccos that I enjoy smoking, so I'm probably going to just maybe... My plan is to sell her five tins. Yeah, five tins on the uh, tobaccos that I like, that I want to make sure I have, even you know, in case they ever go out of stock or or out of uh, out of production. And then on the bulk blends, I'm thinking I might do like, I don't know, a pound or a half pound or something on the bulk blends that I like. Which there is a McBaron Club blend that comes in tins, but they also sell it by a 16 ounce bag. So I might do that or something. Or maybe even buy like the pound just smoke on like a regular basis and then like put back like five five tins and those McBaron tins are like three three and a half ounces so they're pretty pretty good size but yeah I've been thinking about deep cellaring a lot lately and but you know new stuff always comes out and I want to try that and then I want to hear about another tobacco Dang. Somebody recommends and just a never ending thing.
Anyways, just wanted to do a quick, uh, quick video tonight. I, uh, been meaning to do a giveaway video, um, because I, I hit 500 subs a, a few weeks ago. And, um, wanted to do a giveaway. So, and I've won a couple giveaways here lately and just uh, always try to give back at least at least for each giveaway I win I'd like to do do one as well so all right well um yeah go keep an eye out for Dav Davidoff Medall Flake medallions. It's a. Uh, it's out of stock. I think on most of the websites. But um, yeah. If you haven't tried it, and you like uh, like Virginia Breaks and you like a Scudo, it's definitely one to one to try and maybe stock up on. So with that, catch you guys later.